People keep telling me there's a pack of coyotes that lives out here somewhere in a ditch. Now, I've been wandering around out here for ages. Seeing pheasants and eagles and marsh hawks and falcons and ospreys. I haven't seen any coyotes though. I haven't even found coyote poop. I haven't even found coyote tracks. So I'm wondering if the coyotes are just a boogeyman. Sort of like Al-Qaeda, who's paid by the CIA. So anyways, I don't know if there's coyotes out there. All the suburban people keep telling me there is. But I cannot find evidence of them. So while they're all concerned about eating, or getting eaten by something that isn't there, they're getting eaten by stuff that is there. It's all kinds of fucked up. People are insane. <laughs> Inspecting the dirt on a pipe while an airplane comes in to crash into your house. <laughs> this dirt. All this dirt. You ever notice everybody started talking with their nasal passages instead of their chest area? It's really weird. It's like they're programming us to even be verbally weak. I don't want to do anything. It's hard. It's hard. Speaking with my nasals. fucking despise them. We're organisms, man. We're living inside of a little moss patch, if anything. Maybe you want a scale of relativity for it. Relatively speaking, we're bugs in some moss. Trees being the upper canopies of the moss patch we live upon. Why did we separate from it? When we can live so comfortably within it. You know? Eh? Humans aren't a cancer, we're not a virus. Modern humans are a cancer, are a virus. It all connects back to the hive mind though. You're a unique, special mind. You're not special, but you're special. You're not special in that fucking Sesame Street way, but you're special in that you are you. That's it. Don't think you're any better than anything else. You're no different than this plant. Just consciousness thriving, doing its thing. So just recognize there is a lot of independent awareness out here. It has feelings too. 